Welcome back to R for Economics. In this video, we're going to be talking about the generalized method of moments, the GMM package. In the GMM package, you can simply install it, bringing in the library. And included in it is a uh, data set called Finance. This has 24 variables, uh, a range of different things, and a fair number of observations. Now, the first 10 are uh, variables which are uh, which are actually returned. So we have Walmart, Walmart, uh, JCS, T's, other. So these are stock tickers. So we're going to bring those in as returns. Our M is our market returns. So that's the S and P or something like it. Our F is our uh, risk-free uh, risk free rate of return. And then we can generate Z being R minus R, our risk-free rate, P being the number of rows, ZM being the market less the risk-free rate. And then we have H, which is a matrix of uh, ZM and T, and then uh, one. Now, in order to do the GMM estimation, the minimum we need is a function Z tilde ZM, and then X is provided that's H. So H ZM minus RM minus RF is our instrument for this one. Okay, and we can run our model and we can look at our, look at our overall estimates. We bring in the car library. Here we can do a linear linear hypothesis test, and testing whether all of these coefficients, all the constant terms are zero, which is an assumption of the uh, gap and model. And we can see that the test results in there's quite a good chance that it's actually zero. Uh, another option is that you can actually use functions rather than using a, a function that you're used to, where E, is what you're going is what your objective is. This is your expected value, and you can provide it with a set of parameters. And here they're called theta. And then we have our x's that we give it. Okay, so our function will return gmat, which is a c bind of this and this. So we define our function. X is simply our rm and then r. So it'll be the first one will be the market. And then all the rest will be uh, our usual series. So two through 11 is our usual series. Uh, this would be RM and so on. So we define our X. Uh, y. Here return just one second. Sorry, the function wasn't working because the curly brackets were up here. If we run this, we now our G function is now defined. X has been defined. And then we can run our GMM. And then we can provide a summary. And we can see that the summary gives us our theta and our estimates. Now, this is using, as you can see, a two-step. You may want an iterative or continuously updated. And you can do this by changing the type. Now, there are many other features that you can include. In here, as you can tell, there are lots of options in order to deal with different styles of GMM that you may want to use. So you can use Q, which will get continuously updated. We can see that the other things that we have in here are the co pre-whiten, you might want to provide it with a gradient uh, is another option where you, rather than you're estimating the model, you estimate using a gradient. You're continuously updated and a gradient. Uh, it, it, iterative uh, uh, style is, is also working. Now, one thing to note is that 
this has to be defined if you're going to use a function. And this is essentially saying, I need an initial values that satisfy the function up here in order to solve it. And that's all that we've, we've had to do. OK, and that's the GMM, a uh, very versatile program and can be used for, for many different uh, models. Great. And we'll see you in the next video.